I have to fast forward this as well. It's just me wandering around the beach, not doing too much. Off to the left here. Nope, up here is a chest for two antidotes, which aren't that useful at this stage in the game anyway. I mean, handy to have, but not necessary right now. And we get cutscenes. Again. Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luca. For that though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. We'll be praying for the Auroch's victory too, so you come along, yeah? <sighs> great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. So after you... Regain control of Titus. I keep trying to touch the blitz ball because there's a bit later on another boat where you can do something with the blitz ball. And I thought it was this one and it's not. I don't know who you are. See so yeah, Lulu just pars you off. So Word is that summoner's got go and try and speak blood. to Yuna. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. That's don't because say. she is. Lord Braska's daughter? Tardis knows nothing. So you can speak to this guy and use his binoculars. I didn't. Or... Well, you can go up there. There's, no, there's nothing up there at all. So Don't do it. It's a waste of time. We can go below decks. No, nope, below... Below decks! And you meet this melt. Yeah, filthy, filthy. These won't sell. Yeah, his voice annoyed me, so I just started skipping all his dialogue. Don't look like you. I've no business with you. Who do you think you are? Awaka the twenty-third, merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Don't know. He is just a merchant that sells average stuff at the moment. So save your game. I don't know why you wouldn't. In this room, it's two of the Aurochs being sick, and a chest. 
which I believe contains a remedy. This guy's oh, remedy. This guy's also sick. It's completely useless. Just to pad out the characters. But some die the nine Yeah, he just lend him some gill, yes. I think every time you see him if you lend him gill you get something later. It gives you something. I don't know. I guess it pays to ask. Fine seed money for the Oaka merchant. And here is the power room, as as the subtitle says. And I missed a key thing. A key what? thing in what here. What the heck is that? What, what the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos. He's never seen a chocobo. Chocobos? What? You've never seen a chocobo? And they say chocobos, which uh, I've always from, had it as chocobo. Hmm. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. So if you are to go down, la, 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 la. nope, down. On the bottom right there is an Albert primer, that little thing that just popped up and has now disappeared, and I missed it. Fortunately. Um, it shows back up again in the desert much later. There's only I'm three not that you can top. not get back to. Restricted area. And they are much later. Everything else, once you've got the airship, you can fly back to most of them and acquire them. So then... Nope, still no blitz ball. That's still me trying. And you still can't talk to Yuna. But you can talk to Waka. So, is Yuna's father famous or something? She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yuna's the heir to a great legacy. It's tough <sighs> when your father's famous. Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. wind. It's nice. You're a Blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. <laughs> but I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. This must be the 
blessing of Yevon. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. And no one's seen him since then. Why, that's the day that huh? Jekt came to Spira. But... Uh... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. The date fits, doesn't it? The... the... <laughs> yeah, but... How would he get here? You're here? Are you not? And now you're about to get a cool bit. Finally, something to do. <laughs> Wait. 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 There it is. Boss time. So in this fight you can only hit that big thing, the, the fin, with uh, waka or magic. And these things, the sin scales are just there to distract you. So I chose. He had an overdrive so why not? So 2,000 health for the, uh, the, th the fin, whatever that is. So we overdrive him. The Aeon's overdrive, or this one at least, you don't have to do any mini game. you just do a shit ton of damage. And I think if you, if you were to do that damage progressively, it would move then and then you do more damage then it moves again like that I just did enough in one go to trigger both I think wings start to flicker and you get spines and again I'm gonna 
attack one of them. Disappointingly low damage. Uh, I imagine it's just based off Yuna. So I think this is me trying to th thunder something. Don't know why I chose thunder. Just did. And then that has enabled me to, I think, kill the scale. The scale. The thing. The boss. That one. That. Overkill. If you were to do it without the Aeon, take a lot longer. The Aeon's just a very easy way of doing it. It's not over yet. Cheeky thumbs up underwater. Thumbs up, bro. Dolphins. And a big jellyfish thing. I would advise against dying. Because I'm pretty sure you start from just a save point. So, that would be bad. This is since born something. I want to say Achilles, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. His drain touch would be a problem if it did decent damage, but it's kind of pathetic. So you can attack the side things, but they just come back. So again, they're just kind of there to distract you. Focus on the jellyfish. That's one of its uh, special moves, which does not do that much. It's just me trying to decide between potion and high potion. At this point, potion is all you need. You do not have enough health to warrant a high potion. Oh no, 60 damage. That little jump there was... I ran out of time on my share clip. So I had to, to share it and then continue. This is a professional video like that. Most bosses are immune to darkness, or certainly a lot of them are. This guy is not. And I feel I should have darked him sooner. That would be my tip. Dark attack him. Because then he does things like that.
So once you've mashed him up, thusly, he just kind of ex explodes or implodes or does that. You get you know, a reasonable amount and you get a yellow shield and liquid steel. Liquid steel I'm pretty sure has water strike for Titus and I can't remember what the yellow shield does, I think it has a lightning ward. But it's cutscene time again. When Sin attacks Anarkin that day, I woke up in Spira. I kept hoping it would work in reverse, too. I will defeat Sin. I must defeat Sin. I was just fooling myself. Maybe it was that day, on the sea, under the burning sun. I started to give up hope. I was in a foreign world. I wasn't going home. This was my new reality, and I was stuck in it for good. Summoner Yuna. I have come from the temple in Besaid. Oh, Milady Summoner! If there is no other summoner here, please allow me to perform the sending. Ah, thanks, BT. Our loved ones. We feared they would become fiends. Please, take me to them. So you've nearly got control of Titus again after another lengthy video. We'll go see what we can do to help in town. Huh? And there's nothing there. And you just shave your game. And you get to see the cutscene that I always remember in the next video.